हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू तेनाली पाठशाला एज यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस सीरीज सो इन द फर्स्ट पीयू केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर वाइज इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिड अ वीडियो ऑन सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इफ यू आर नॉट सीन दैट द लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन फर्स्ट गो थ्रू दैट then come to this one guys yes in today's class we are going to talk about classification of elements and the periodicity in properties see guys let us discuss first we'll talk about one mark questions very important questions guys so stay tuned what is a common in n3 minus o2 minus and f minus so three ions are given to you and you are asked to find out what is a common thing in that You see, guys, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. Nitrogen atomic number is seven. Three extra electrons are three minus means extra electron. So seven minus uh, seven plus three, ten. So nitrogen having ten valence electron. Total electrons in nitrogen is nitrogen three minus is ten. Oxygen it is having its own eight electrons and two minus means two more extra electrons again ten. Fluorine is also having nine of its own electron, one electron extra. That is ten. That means all these species are having common in their electron number. So, so such type of species are called isoelectronic species. Yes, guys, number of electrons are common in this, and those are called isoelectronic species. On what parameter the elements are classified in the periodic table? Atomic number on the basis of the atomic number, elements are classified in the periodic table. Write the electronic configuration of chromium. You know chromium atomic number is twenty four. You have to write the electronic configuration. First, you have to write argon three d five four s one. This is the correct electronic configuration of chromium. Define atomic radius. What is atomic radius? Uh, what is generally in mathematics radius means? It is the distance between center of the circle and circumference of the circle right so in here atomic radius means it is a distance between the center of the nucleus and outermost cell of an atom distance between center of the nucleus and outermost cell of an atom it decreases along the period along the period means horizontal lines when you move from left to right in the periodic table its value decreases and when we move from top to bottom in the group so its value goes on increases remember very important name the most electronegative element so you know already most electronegative element in the periodic table is fluorine yes it is guys it is a fluorine state modern periodic law the physical and chemical properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic number based on atomic number the elements are arranged in the periodic table that is what a modern periodic law how many elements are present in the actinide series so total how much guys 5 20 not 5 15 elements are present in the actinide series you know actinides lanthanides and actinides are the f block elements guys starting from lanthanum lanthanum cerium praseodymium neodymium promethium samarium europium gadolonium terbium dysprosium holium erbium thulium ytterbium and lutetium so these are the lanthanide series guys and they are uh, asking for actinides so along with actinides so actinum thorium Protactinum, uranium, neptunium, plutonium, americium, curium, berkelium, californium, and strontium, fermium, mandelium, novelium, and lawrencium. So these are the actinide series, guys. Remember, actinides and lanthanides both are having fifteen elements each. Fluorine has less electron gain enthalpy than chlorine. Fluorine has less electron gain enthalpy than chlorine. Give reason. Yes, because added electron should go to smaller orbit in the fluorine, which suffers electron-electron repulsion. Because when you, what is the electron gain enthalpy, guys? Amount of energy required to add the electron in the outermost cell. And you see, in fluorine, very small atomic size is there. So when you add the electron, it will go to the inner orbit only. And nucleus inner orbit already attraction is there. Again, you are adding electron means it will be field repulsion. Therefore, therefore, fluorine has less electron gain enthalpy. Right? Remember, guys. Nitrogen has higher ionization enthalpy than of oxygen. Give reason. 
because half filled p orbitals nitrogen has half filled p orbital hence it has a higher ionization enthalpy than of oxygen ionization enthalpy means energy required to yes energy required to remove an electron on, on, on its outermost shell so when you want to remove outermost electron so nitrogen has higher ionization enthalpy because in nitrogen already it is half filled p orbitals all the px py pz orbitals are uh, filled with one single electron so if you want to remove then you have to provide more energy therefore higher ionization enthalpy than of oxygen question number 11 select an iso electronic pair among the following please wait guys yes select an iso electronic pair among the following they are asking al plus 3 cl minus na plus cl minus mg plus 2 and na minus na plus so these are the three options given to you how to select the high uh, iso electronic pair so when you want to uh, find out iso electronic pair first you have to know what is iso electronic pair iso electronic pair is a, a pair of atoms or ions which contain same number of electrons see we just let us calculate aluminium has a uh, total aluminium atomic number is 13 it is having 13 electron but al plus 3 is there three electron ends went already outside therefore 10 electron in the al plus 3 18 electron in the chlorine minus 10 electron in the na plus 18 electron in the cl mg plus 2 10 electron na plus 2 10 electrons so you can only guess guys so in first two options the electrons are not same in the last option mg plus 2 and na plus the electrons are equal how we got this electron guys based on the atomic number see mg plus 2 atomic mg is atomic number is 12 plus 2 indicates 2 electron went already it loses lost these two electrons so remaining is 10 out of 12 2 are lost then remaining is 10 like that sodium atomic number is 11 na plus is given that means na loses one electron hence it is getting 10 electron i hope you followed so isoelectronic pair means the pair which is having same number of electrons so remember third option is correct here name the species or ion that will be isoelectronic with mg plus 2 mg plus 2 first you tell me what is atomic number of mg guys 12 mg plus 2 means how many electrons are present 10 so we have to see the species which containing 10 electron you see already in the above example we have studied al plus 3 is having 10 electron na plus is having 10 electron so these all are example for isoelectronic pieces with mg plus 2 and even f minus also f is having atomic number 9 and one minus charge is there you have to add one whenever minus charge is there you add the electron because that is having extra electron whenever plus charge is there you minus the electron in the atomic number because there is lost the electron so i hope you followed guys Two more question. Define ionization enthalpy of an element. How does it vary in a periodic table? Ionization enthalpy of an element is defined as energy required to remove the outermost electron from an isolated neutral gas is atom. It increases across the period. It increases across the period. Across the period means horizontal lines when you move from left to right it goes on increases due to you know nucleus size decreases nucleus and outermost electron uh, attracting power increases so it is very difficult to remove the outermost electron to overcome the uh, repel, uh, attractive force of nucleus hence we have to provide more energy to remove the outermost electron so it is increased across the period and decrease down the group because as size increases there is an attractive power between nuclear and outermost electron decreases so if attractive power decreases you can easily remove the outermost most electron guys what is screening effect how does it influence the ionization enthalpy the nucleus reduces its force of attraction on valence electron due to the presence of electron in the inner orbit so once nucleus uh, reduces its force of attraction on the valence electron outermost electron due to presence of electrons in the inner orbital say so already it is having inner orbital electron it is having attractive power so whenever outer electron if we are comparing uh, uh, as compared to inner electron outer electron feel less attraction because already these electrons are attracted and these are feeling uh, like a uh, like a shell uh, what you can say like a uh, cell so that it can uh, electron and electron repel each other the inner, inner electrons are attracted by the nucleus outer electrons are not attracted by that not that much attracted by the nucleus because inner electrons are repelling the outer electron right that is what screening effect so nucleus reduces its force of attraction on the valence electron due to the presence of electron in the inner shell so it increases in screening effect decreases ionization enthalpy as screening effect goes on and increases ionization enthalpy goes on sorry uh, screening effect goes on decreases 
ionization enthalpy goes on and increases. If screening effect goes on and increases, ionization enthalpy goes on and decreases. Both are inversely proportional. That is the case. Define electronegativity, which is most electronegative element. How do electronegativity vary in the periodic table? Electronegativity, you know, ability of an atom to attract a shared pair of electron towards itself. Electronegativity means ability of atom to attract a shared pair of electron towards itself. The most electronegative element is fluorine. It increases across the period because you know as you move from left to right in the periodic table that is called period horizontal move. So size goes on decreases as size goes on decreases it in uh, electronegativity increases because it is having more attractive power to the nucleus distance is less no at there therefore and when decreases down the group top to bottom decreases left to right increases. What is electron gain enthalpy how does it vary in way? vary in a periodic table how it vary in a periodic table means you have to go for left to right also top to bottom also period also and group also you have to explain an electron gain enthalpy of an element is defined as energy required or liberated when an electron is added to outermost orbit of an isolated gaseous <coughs> sorry isolated gaseous Neutral gaseous atom. Electron gain enthalpy of an element is defined as energy required or liberated when an electron is added to outermost orbit of an isolated neutral gaseous atom. It increases across the period. Means when you move from left to right in the periodic table, it increases. And when you move from top to bottom in the table, uh, periodic table, it decreases. Correct. Moving to next question. Define atomic radius. How does it vary? Along the period. How does it vary along the period? Atomic radius means you know what is the radius for uh, normal in mathematics you studied now. So it is a distance between the center of the circle line and circumference of the circle. Like that here it is a distance between the uh, nucleus of the atom to the outermost shell of the atom. See atomic radius is the distance between the center of the nucleus and the outermost shell of an atom. How does it vary along the period? As we move from left to right it decreases because size decreases and as, as we move from top to bottom down the group means top to bottom that is in the group it increases because size increases what are isolatronic species arrange the following in the increasing order of their ionic radius you see guys what are isolatronic species means i already have told regarding this one the species which have equal number of electrons in their cell so those are called isolatronic species arrange the following in the increasing order of their ionic radius you know guys as positive charge goes on increases size goes on decreases hence radius goes on decreases as positive charge increases radius decreases then which is lowest one mg plus 2 n minus 3 na plus o2 minus which is lowest mg plus 2 is highest positive charge so it is lowest because positive charge means it loses electron if it loses electron outermost cell is eliminated outermost cell is eliminated radius goes on decreases obvious thing so as you increase the positive charge on the atom it, its uh, atomic radius goes on decreases which is lowest mg plus 2 is lowest second lowest na plus third lowest o2 minus last one n minus 3 this is increasing order see guys yes talking about three mark question mention three defects in mendeleev's periodic table some elements are not arranged in the increasing order of the atomic masses uh, these are the defects these are the some Depicts in the Mendeleev's periodic table. The elements are not arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass. They are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic number. Cobalt is placed before nickel. Tellurium is placed before iodine. Some of the depicts are there. Position of the hydrogen is not clear because it shows properties similar to metals as well as non-metals. The position of the isotopes of element is not clear. These are the three depicts observed in Mendeleev's periodic table, guys. Write a brief note on S block, P block and D block. You know, S block left side of the periodic table, P block right side of the periodic table, P and uh, D block in between the periodic table you are having. See guys, elements of group 1 and 2 of modern periodic table are called as S block elements. The group 1 elements are called, group means uh, down the group, what you can say, top to bottom. Columns are called alkali metals. And second group elements are called alkaline earth metals. First group alkali metals, second group alkaline earth metals. The general electronic configuration is 1 N S 1 to 2. N is the algebraic quantum number or principal quantum number, already you know that. 
P block elements, elements of group 13 to 18, modern periodic table are called as P block elements. General electronic configuration is NS2, NP1 to 6. Means in S orbital, S block elements, outermost electron fill in the S orbital. P block element, outermost electron fill in the P orbitals. See guys, D block elements, the elements of group 3 to group 12. Group 3 to group 12 of modern periodic table are called as D block elements and they are also called transition elements due to their gradual change in the properties. So they will change the variable oxidation. They have a variable oxidation state guys. They can form a very oxidation state to uh, get a different organic compound. Hence the transition elements can form coordination compound also. That you are going to learn in the second PU. The general electronic configuration is N minus 1 D 1 to 10 N S 1 to 2. Meaning is here outermost electron fill in the D orbital only. Among the chlorine and fluorine which is having more negative value of electron gain enthalpy more ionization energy smaller size three questions are there negative value of electron gain enthalpy so you know chlorine has more negative value of electron gain enthalpy because electron gain enthalpy i told you so already fluorine is more electron negative element therefore it is having less electron gain enthalpy so high electron gain enthalpy but negatively less they are asking for negative value correct more ionization energy this is for fluorine has more ionization energy smaller size Fluorine has smaller size, correct? So due to you know uh, nucleus and uh, this more electron element, nucleus and outermost electron having more attraction, size will be smaller. Fluorine has more ionization energy. All these cases you have to remember, guys. So I hope you followed in the today's session. If you are not getting anything, please see the video once, guys. So if you have any doubts, any queries, you want any chapter. Uh, PYQs, you just comment below guys, I will make a video on that, stay tuned for next lesson, the next lesson will, I, I think, it may come up to 10 o'clock, otherwise you will get tomorrow morning, so that I am going to do here is organic principles, some basics and principles, technique chapter, organic chemistry first chapter, so we will talk about that tomorrow guys, thanks for watching, thank you.